Hey, what's up, y'all? Um, you know, after the news that uh, DeMarcus Cousins, you know, went to the cheaters, I was real upset about it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, real upset. And, um, you know, I know what a lot of y'all are thinking. It's because, um, oh, LeBron James can't win now, and he's just a LeBron fan, and, you know, that is part of it. Of course you want your favorite team or your favorite player to win. Of course you do. But the main reason I watch basketball is for competition. And let me say this, okay? If Because a lot of people are going to say this. Well, if DeMarcus Cousins would have went to the Lakers, you would have you would have been fine with that. True, I would have been. And let me say this. With LeBron James, DeMarcus Cousins, and Kawhi Leonard, because if they got Kawhi Leonard this year, they would have had to trade uh, some of our assets. Um, we still would have been the underdogs to, to the cheaters. The cheaters would still would have been the favorite, and they still would have won the championship. So not only did DeMarcus Cousins not sign with the Lakers, because according to stories, nobody gave him offers. Whatever. Um, but he decided to go and take the mid-level exception of $5.3 million. And I already know what y'all going to say. Y'all going to say, well, you know, his injury and this stuff and that stuff. And then, you know, the, the, there's a lot of things with his past, too. You know, a lot of people say uh, he's a knucklehead and he's a locker room cancer. And a lot of times when he gets mad, he doesn't play hard. And all that stuff's his fault, by the way. Um, and then as a business, if you want um, to buy a player or, you know, pay a player, you don't want to pay full price for somebody, uh, you know, that's injured and stuff. And, and I understand all of that. Um, but DeMarcus Cousin could have went to the Lakers. No, no question about that. Um, DeMarcus, according to reports, he was upset and sad that nobody wanted him and this, that, and the third. Um, you know, and there's there's two sides to every story and also <clears throat> i don't know the behind the scenes stuff that goes on you know what i mean but what i do know is that he signed with the, with the with the cheaters no, no matter what and if i was demarcus cousins and i'm not him i'm just telling you if i was him i wouldn't have played for them i, I don't care if i would have had to sit out i would have not have played with the with the cheaters um i understand why he did it based on the stories and th stuff that I heard. Um, he can, you know, rehab for a year, chill out, and actually no rush, and then he can learn from Steve Kerr and be a part of a winning organization, and I, and I get all that, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I watch basketball for competition. The regular season, for me personally, I'm not speaking for anybody else but me, the regular season personally for me is to be entertained and 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 for seedings for the playoffs because the playoffs are, are the real season for me. And then when the playoffs start, we want to see what the matchups are. And then once we see the matchups, then we want to see good games and we don't want to see sweeps. We want to see, you know, best out of sevens go to seven. Um, obviously, an eight seed and a one seed is not going to go seven usually because those are the lopsided teams. But the four or five matchup and, uh, you know, three, six matchups and stuff like that are more closer. Um, but then once the first round is over, then the second round, you know, you, you, you really don't know, like, who's going to go to the finals. you got your favorites, um, but you don't know for a fact of who's going to the finals and for a fact of who's going to win the championship because that's what competition is all about. And with this uh, situation, there's no question who's going to go to the finals. Let me tell you who. It's going to be the Golden State Cheaters versus the Boston Celtics. And the Celtics are a great team but they don't have a fucking snowball chance in hell to beat the cheaters. They just don't, and we all know why. So <clears throat> um, me personally, I'm upset, but at the same time, um, right now, well, how I'm feeling, because you know how if you got a girlfriend and you guys are mad and you break up, what I did today um, was I canceled my league pass. I've had league pass for years now. And I canceled it because the only way to show that you don't support something is with your money in your, in your pockets. You know what I mean? And I'm a big Star Wars fan. Nowhere near like I am the NBA. But um, the reason why Han Solo movie didn't do good is because once George Lucas sold, um, you know, Star Wars to Disney, 
a lot of shit changed with uh, Kathleen Turner and stuff like that. So what people start doing, they started not going to the to the movies and not start you know supporting by buying tickets and buying apparel and buying stuff like that. So what happened? Now they have to change stuff. But for me to just sit here and say, oh, I'm not going to do this and do that, I'm just not going to watch. I'm not going to pay for League Pass anymore. I'm not going to turn on a regular season game because when you turn on a regular season game, that gives them ratings for advertising dollars. I'm not going to buy any more apparel. I erased all the apps on my um, on my phone, on the NBA app, Cleveland Cavalier app, Lakers app. That's me personally. So here's what I suggest you do. If you feel like me, I'm not telling you what to do, but if you feel like me and you're not with this um, type of NBA, because a lot of people are going to say, well, what rules did they break? They didn't break any rules, you know, but they broke the unsaid rule. And the unsaid rule is you don't group up with a bunch of players when you know you can win a championship. It, it doesn't it doesn't make any sense. Even when you go to the park and you see, you know, you know who the best players are. All the best players don't try to get on the same team and try to win every game. What they try to do is spread it out. That's why you say, I pick you, you know, you pick two captains. I pick you, he picks me, I pick you, he picks me. If, what, what would make me happy, honestly, if the NBA took <clears throat> all 30 teams and had and broke up the whole fucking NBA and had a draft took the top 30 players and put them on each team and then have them be the representative and be the man, the franchise builder on the team and then everybody build around them. But of course, that's not going to happen. But so for now, that's what I've done. Um, so as of now, I'm not watching or being part of this league anymore um, because I know that, you know, I'm going to have to congratulate uh, the Golden State Cheaters now um, for winning the 2018 2019 NBA championship champions because they're going to win. Uh, there's no question about it. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, the NBA is a part of me. It used to be a part of me. It's a big, big thing in my life. And I'm very disappointed <clears throat> in the way it's going. And no matter how it started, you guys can say LeBron started it. You can I say Kevin Durant started it. You can say Boston started it. You can say it started back in whenever. Um, it, we've never seen anything like this. It was bad enough when Kevin Durant went to the Warriors and went to a team that beat him. But now DeMarcus Cousins, the best center in the NBA, the only weak spot that the Golden State Warriors had, they filled it with the best center in the league. And uh, I'm sorry, folks, but uh, I'm just not with it. So if I get back on to the NBA, I'll uh, make more videos. If I change my mind or uh, you know, make up with my girlfriend or whatever. But as of now, um, uh, I'm Jerry, and I'm not. I'm I'm not with it, and I'm not. I'm not fucking with it. So, you guys take it easy. Like I said, if you feel like me and you want this to change, the only thing you can do is stop giving this league your money, give them your time, and give them your energy. And that's the only thing you can do to stop this. All right, take care of yourself. I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, peace.